Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how we can like uh, create the uh, automation workflow with NAN from scratch and then using the uh, uh, Google built-in not to send an email. Okay, so let me walk you through all the step uh, one by one. Uh, first, we are going to need to create a new workflow, right? And then if you want to follow me with the uh, tutorial, with the uh, beginner tutorial, you need to have a uh, uh, any an instant right it's gonna be cloud or self-hosted instant and uh, you need to have the uh, google consoles uh, account okay so uh, uh let's uh, first we start with a trigger right so uh this will be the manual trigger okay so uh, and then rename it it's like manual trigger okay and then we are going to base a uh, symbol ai agents uh and then not like connect we divide right uh so uh, generate an email right to uh, apply for uh the nen developer positions as so me with me okay so uh, we are asking the agent to generate an email okay and then like uh, we are going to use no I, I don't need it right uh, and then we are going to use like model ai right so i'm, I'm going to use open ai chat model but, like you are free to use anything like germany or group so it's be the same right and then we name it at like uh, email composer right agent something like that and then we uh, also want to uh let let execute it okay okay so uh it uh writing an email but like the output is not uh because it uh, have the subject and then the contain in the same output so i'm gonna require a specific output format so that it easier for us to use in the next uh step right okay so we create a apples boxer struct our product okay and then this will be like subject email subject okay sorry uh and then we have like the sorry this could be yeah and then something like that right and then it will be a uh, email body body okay yeah so and then we are going to run the ASIN again yeah and then let's check yeah now we have the email subject and email bodies like yeah it's just uh for an example right uh, in the real world scenario you can uh, make it more uh, like complex to adapt with your company or your like business need right and then next let's say we have the email subject we have the uh, like uh, body right and then we want to send an email to uh, so how how can we do that right we we're using the gmail right so this is being not from gmail uh, google and then we have the uh, send message send a message here right okay so and then uh, to send a message right uh, we need the uh, email right here we we can create the uh, normally we are using this one edit field and then we add field right uh, to for example like creator at auto may with me okay something like that and then uh, let's say anything to okay uh, yeah so uh, we can execute previous not uh sorry okay we need to disable it and then we execute it okay so uh now we have uh two right so we uh send to this email okay and then we have the subject should be the uh, output if the uh, ai agent and then for the email body we have like email type can be html and text right but like to, for the simplicity we can use like text only okay let's see, just text and yeah 
the important task is like, uh, you need to have a credential to connect with your Gmail, right? So I'm gonna uh, create a new one. Uh, yeah, so uh, you need the uh, uh, redact copy redact URL, and then you have the client ID and a secret, right? But like how you can fill that information? So let's go to the uh, Google Cloud Console, right? And then you create a project, and then from there you enable the other services here, right? Uh, awesome. Okay, so uh, uh, first we need to check uh, well, check the uh, Google Gmail, right? We check Gmail, yeah, Gmail, and then we we need to en enable it. Okay, so I already enable it, so that is a, a API enable. But like, if you are not yet sure, you need to enable this. And second thing, we want to have the credential, right? We we need to fill in this field, right? Uh, client ID and client secret. So uh, yeah, we uh, back here and click to credential, and then yeah. So uh, we you can see that with the auth uh two two point oh client ID here. So uh, what we wanna do is we want to create a credential array. So uh, and select this one, auth client ID. Okay. Okay, and application type will be. Uh, web applications, and then the name will be like, for example, like uh, N A N, uh, send email. Okay, and then uh, here authorize with like URL. You click here, add, and then copy it. Okay, and then you click create. Uh, and then you have client ID. Okay, then you copy it, and then you get back here, and then you have client ID, and then you have. Uh, client secret and click, click copy and then you get back here okay okay and then like so uh don't try to use this one i i, I gonna uh, like uh, delete this people before i publish the video so do not try to use use this one okay uh okay and then i have and then send email and yeah i i gonna click uh like save okay and then maybe Continue, and then continue. Okay. Uh, okay. And then uh, yeah. So uh, this is how we can uh, uh, configure the uh, Gmail to send send a uh, message using the doing not right. And then uh, we can activate it again, and then we click send. Okay. Yeah. So the not is uh, uh, execute successfully. So. That's uh this is the uh, ID and the thread ID of the message, so that I can check my uh email right. So let me check my mailbox for uh, here the email that came from uh, uh NAN automation workflow right. So uh, and then uh, it's like self-hosted instance, so it's had the the not from NAN. That's it. Email was sent automatically with NAN. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the uh, contain the title that we set up for the NAN not. So it's very simple, right? Uh, yeah. So within just few steps, that you can able to uh, create a automation workflow that uh, uh, compose the email contain and then like format it, uh, and then like config uh, the uh, Google uh, Gmail building not to send an email. So yeah, hopefully if you uh, have a need of like sending an email in your workflow, so that you can follow my uh, instruction and then like to to uh, uh, using the uh, Gmail, right? So thank you very much uh, and have a good day. Bye-bye.